Welcome back to another video. Um, today it's going to be strictly the panel. Today we're going to be attempting to do the hair on it. Um, there is a lot of little strands in this portrait so I'm going to kind of do something that I, I used to do back in the day but I don't really do anymore because I've learned, taught myself to do it a different way that's a little bit faster but in this one since there's really tiny hairs and there's a lot of them I'll be going back to the old ways of what I used to do and it's a really common practice people still do it today but um, I think it's going to make this portrait look a lot better in the end so I'm going to be left off so this is where we left off um, and I kind of already started working with what I'm going to do today um, I started going down here around here you can see the kind of detail um, so pretty much all you need to do this is an exacto knife with a fresh blade. So what I've been doing is I've been lightly going in and etching the paint away. And it really helps if you have the color down below than what the, the, what you have on top. So what you're doing is essentially just scratching the paint off and going down to the layer. So you can see kind of like right here what I've started doing. Um, you can kind of see it all throughout his scalp to get those really fine hairs you just go through and you just trying to etch it away um, if you go too too much you'll go down to the straight down to the panel um, I, I don't do it this way anymore because it's it takes a lot of clear to bury this stuff because you're essentially grinding away layers and layers and layers and with as much hair as this has um, it's going to take a lot of clear to bury all this so but I think this is going to look a lot better than what I usually do. Um, usually I just go in there with the airbrush and go by hands um, and do every little strand. And I'm going to do that as well, but it's mostly going to be the razor blade method. So um, when you're doing hair, hairs are different on every um, portrait. Every diff you know, everybody's got different types of hair and the way the picture's taken. And it might be blown in the wind. It just there's a lot of different variations of hair. So the way I think of it as, I don't think of it as little strands here and there. I think of it as like a clump. Um, and it just, it, it receives better when you're done with it. Um, because if you just go in there and just start doing a little bit of strands um, in hair, you're gonna see it in the end. And it's a lot of layers. So you wanna try to start from the ground up and work your way up. Um, to get the, the look that you need. So, um, but in this one, this one does, like I said, it's got a lot of fine hairs. So um, I've already pulled out a lot of little ones. I'll kind of show you. Um, a lot of the little ones in here along his face. Start pulling those out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna take a really diluted white, almost like a, like a gray. And I'm gonna go through one by one and I'm gonna start doing um, the hair because in the picture it is colored so I've already got that that background coat done and I've already pulled it out so my thinking is I'm gonna add some white go through and try to do individually and then go back to the razor blade chip away a little bit and then add just add more color on top of that and keep working itself up all the way to where we get to where we need to put the brownish tint on and down here, it's kind of like the same method, but you're gonna be pretty much leaving it in like a grayish white um, because it's not, it's not totally, you know, white. It's got a lot of grays and reds and browns in it. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start, we've already started light. We're gonna work our way up. And like I said, I'm gonna grab like a grayish, um, like a really light gray, almost whitish, and over reduce it and start adding in um, and work our way up, back up to it, so. I'm going to put you guys on a tripod and we're going to get to it.
I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you can see it kind of taking shape now just by doing that light, light gray. Um, I had my air pressure up a little bit, but I was moving really fast and I was really close to the panel to be able to get these really small strokes in here. Um, so it's working out really, really well. So right now we're just gonna keep bumping it up. We're gonna go to, to a, a, a lighter, um, like a, a little bit, it's kind of like a, I added a little bit of black into the mixture and a little bit of the red that we had, and I mean a tiny bit of the red, so it diluted that white just enough, but we're gonna start bumping it up and getting this thing to where we get the finer details. Um, because right now you really can't even see where I raise the blade. There's some marks still that you can still see where I took the razor blade to, but most of that stuff is covered up. And at the very end, anything we don't like, like right down here at the bottom, this area is just not really too it's really dark in the picture, so what I'm going to do at the very end, I'm going to take some black, and I'll go through, and I'll open up some of these areas. I mean, you can always do that at the end, take away some things that you don't like, but we're going to keep going. And then, like I said, in between, I'll razor blade some stuff, and then we'll just keep bumping it up until we get to the very light um, white, and then we'll add color on top of it. But right now, you can see every little layer you know, the background layer where it all look like a bunch of mess is starting to get covered up because when you look at somebody's head, if it's got really thin hair, you don't actually see the hair the most. You see the head. So any colors that are popping off from the skin or from the, the head, from the sun or whatever, whatever picture you're looking at is what you're going to see the most of. And that's why I'm working this backwards like this is because this is actually very, very little hair. Um, there is a lot, but it's still very, very little, but you do see his scalp coming through it, and it's like that, that darkish, brownish, tannish color, and then the, the hair is going to be the lighter brown, or the little bit darker brown versus and some of the wider on the edges over here from the sun hitting it. So um, we're going to keep working this thing, but it's coming out really, really good, so we're going to keep working. All right, so we got a couple layers down. I went back in with the black and I kind of went through and did some strokes with the black, kind of shading it right through here. A couple areas up here after we razor bladed it, kind of to blend those in. And then when I took some diluted uh, maroon and a little bit of like a grayish scale and I went in and I just kind of misted a color all over the hair because in the picture it's got this tint to it. So that's what I did. And then I've got some straight up white in my gun and I started doing these highlights. And then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna put some yellow in, um, probably this uh, Pagan Gold 
and just kind of really lightly mist it to catch all those white hairs and then put some more red in it to give it that brownish look. Um, but it's coming out really, really nice. I'm liking it so far, um, but we're just gonna keep on building layers and layers and layers and we'll get to the end eventually. Give you guys a good angle. Then what we'll do is we'll come back in and punch some of the, like a zero out and things like that, even though it's pretty much, you know, it's non-existent in the photos right there. So it's all black. So I can go back in with black and just kind of shade all that in. And then I'm thinking about doing a kind of like a halo effect. I've already went around some areas. So yeah, I went down here and I kind of shaded some of this down here too, um, to my liking. And then I've done a halo with black all the way around. That's why there's a black halo around and everything. But I'm thinking about doing like a different, like maybe a blue or something. Um, I don't know yet. So we're gonna punch this hair out and get this thing done. All right, guys, I'm going to call that a wrap on this one. Um, got everything. I even did the white highlights. And then I missed uh, pretty much everything with like a uh, yellow pagan gold, which is a uh, true candy. And I just lightly missed it over the whole thing to kind of knock all those white highlights back because it's from the sun. He's got that glow on him. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much done. Um, I kind of want to do a border with it. I already went around and did the black trim and made a little halo. Um, that way when I clear it, it'll kind of stand back, stand out a little bit. But um, I'm thinking about gold leafing a border around this thing, like a skinny board around the image. I think that'd make it really pop. But other than that, besides my signature on it, I think it's ready for clear. Um, we got these other two panels that we're going to be starting here soon. Um, and then... Once I get those panels done, and if I get those skateboards and those mini hoods, I'll do something on those as well. Um, but I'm gonna let this sit here, and I'll think about it, whether to add the border or not, because once you do that, it's pretty much a done deal. But yeah, I think it turned out really, really nice. You guys let me know what you think. Um, comment down below what you liked about this one. I think it came out really, really nice when we clear it. It's gonna push all the blacks back, make them really dark, and then it's gonna push everything forward. Um, it's gonna look really, really nice. So, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Um, and then the other two panels here. So we got a white one, and we got a silver one. So the white one I'm wanting to do artwork on, but also I wanna do artwork on this one as well as far as airbrushing goes. Um, but one of them might just turn into a pinstripe panel. So let me know if you'd like to see if there's something in particular let me know. Um, but other than that, you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much straightforward when you're doing hair, just, you know, take your time, build your, your layers up and don't think of as little strands. Think of as like clumps, especially if you're doing like a woman's hair. Uh, for me, I don't have any hair, so it's a little bit different. Just like this painting, it was a little bit different, but you know, you slowly chip away at it and just work in little islands and get through it and, you know, add the right colors when you need to. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, I mean, hair is probably one of the hardest things to master as far as airbrushing or painting goes, besides the hands. The hands are really, really hard to get proportionate and things like that, but the hair is probably second. Um, but you know, you just, you just chip away at it. At first it might not look like anything, but like I said, just do layers and layers and layers and start working your way up to the lightest. Um, or if you're one of those people that like to like, like to work light from dark, light to dark, you can do it that way too, depending on what surface you're working on. But this is just how, I'm, how I did this one. Obviously, I do every, pretty much I do them all different, honestly, depending on the picture. So, but other than that, yeah, I mean, just take your time and, you know, master the technique of 
controlling your airbrush and you'll be able to do anything you want to. So until next time guys, thanks for watching.